need my own talk show, you guys. I really do. I really need my own talk show, okay? At least me and um, Miss Harris agree on one thing, and that is the whole staginess of this v The View stuff, because CNN reported on it, a lot of publications pro report on it, that uh, Miss Harris, Kamala Harris's team, uh, feels that The View was not really forthcoming with what occurred. Because apparently, I believe that all the tests were done before the show even aired, like 24 hours before, like the day before, like everything was done already. OK, and so we're going to read a story. We're going to read what CNN, even CNN got on their asses. OK, we're going to talk about it. Hi, welcome to JLA. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe and you do click that bell, baby. And please do subscribe to my second channel, JOA TV. The link card is going to be right above. And just subscribe if you're not a snowflake and if you don't get easily offended. And we could have different views and still be cool and friends. We live in a society nowadays where if you don't, dis if you don't agree with somebody, then it's kind of like you're the enemy. And it's like that's propaganda. So no propaganda over here, okay? Subscribe if you're not a snowflake. Let's get to the video. So, baby, even CNN is reporting that Kamala Harris's office frustrated with the view after last week's COVID fiasco. OK, look, I mean, that's the thumbnail I use. Look, they taking my thumbnail. So. CNN says the office of the VP Kamala Harris is vexed with the view after the false COVID-19 positive test revealed just before Harris was to appear on the show last week, sent the program into chaos. People familiar with the matter told CNN. One of the people explained that Harris office required. One of the people explained that Harris office required the hosts of The View to take a PCR test within 24 hours of the interview. That person said that a representative of the ABC talk show suggested the night before Harris' appearance that the test had come back negative. Do y'all really need me to read the paragraph for y'all? Because a lot of y'all could be slow. Okay, it says, one of the people explained that Harris' office required the host of The View to take a PCR test within 24 hours of the interview. That person said that a rep of the ABC talk show suggested the night before Harris' appearance that the test had come negative. So they already done the test, okay? So why did they simply tell us th this lie on the air that Anna and Sonia Hawson came positive, all right? Harris and her staff didn't learn the truth until the dramatic moment on live television when co-hosts Sonia Hawson and Ann Navarro were abruptly pulled from the set. Hosts on The View are regularly tested for COVID-19 at least twice each week. People familiar with the matter told CNN, but to satisfy the requirement put in place by Harris office, each of the view hosts underwent expedited PCR tests in the afternoon following Thursday show. One of the people said. That night, a rep for the view gave the all clear to Harris office, suggesting that the show had satisfied the requirements to proceed with the taping. One of the people familiar with the matter said. After it was suddenly revealed Friday morning that was not the case, Harris' team was left puzzled and seeking answers about what happened. But, according to a person familiar with the matter, The View has not been forthcoming with the VP's office, leaving Harris' staff deeply concerned about what happened. People familiar with the matter also said that the ABC News president, Kim Godwin, who was in attendance for the taping, was irked and embarrassed by the whole fiasco. Spokespeople for ABC and The View declined to comment, of course, despite multiple requests. A spokesperson for the VP's office also declined to provide a comment. All right. So as you guys all know, after hosting an end of our test positive, they each underwent three additional COVID-19 tests, one rapid test, two PCR tests. People familiar with the matter said all these subsequent tests came back negative and what really did not even sit well to me is when on monday the uh executive producer brian tita addressed the situation he said he hopes that there are more awkward moments in the future for rating six okay 
all I could think of was that we had to keep the host safe and we had to keep the vice president mm -hmm. safe. She could not walk out no matter what. And that led to some really awkward television that I'd like to have back if I could. Um, but I, <laughs> we all know that Meghan McCain made the show. We all know that she the one that brought you the ratings. But the fact that you are worried about ratings when literally, according to HIPAA laws, and I, I thought that you're allowed to expose somebody to test, but apparently you're not. But according to HIPAA laws, that you're not allowed to do it. Okay, you're not allowed to say what someone's person's results are especially when you are on a damn talk show you know that's that's a person that's a violation of somebody uh health care rights but that don't that don't matter to brian tita brian tita just want the ratings okay he just want the ratings for the show talking about let's do a tease and we'll come back remember he said that on friday we'll come back and we'll share their what happened and then they expose their health care results okay um i wouldn't be surprised if sonny Hawson thought about suing I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and Monday, talking about we hope that there are more awkward mo moments in the future, He uh, Brian Tita also said. So this is all for ratings. This article actually makes uh, Kamala Harris's uh, Kamala Harris's team herself look good uh, because The View is a big platform. And y'all all know Kamala Harris has not been looking good uh, as the VP of the United States within the past almost a year. She's been in that damn White House. So this story actually makes her look good. And I'd be upset. I'd be, if I was her team, I'd also be upset as well because they took a test 24 hours before the show. It was all in the clear. And now something like this happens on air. I told y'all something in the milk ain't clean, okay? And that's all I got to say about that. Deuces.